Hello, and welcome to that thing that I do, where I learn how to draw things. So, today's topic is going to be on, uh, paws. Paws. That's, that's what they are. I have them up in my corner. I just, I had to look over to remember what I was doing today. Anyway, um, so I've got a couple of tutorials and guides from a page called the Furry Art Academy on, um, Fur Affinity. Um, the, the artist is named Glow Fox. Um, I don't think I'm going to put the the guys that I'm looking at up on the screen just for uh, copyright purposes. There is a copyright symbol on the thing, and I don't want to get in any sort of trouble for that, but I will look at, but I will link them in the description. So yeah, let's get started. So um, the first thing I'm going to try and learn how to do is, well, like I said, pause, and oh boy, here goes my thing. That's fine. We'll work with it. Okay, so now that we're back doing this. It's lagging a little bit, but that's okay. I will live with that. So, um, the first thing I'm gonna try and tackle is feet paws, because feet feet are the worst thing for me. I know I can <laughs> I I've this is now the third thing that I've said is like the worst possible thing, but that's just there are a lot of few minor details that I'm really bad at working with. Um uh, I said eyes and ears in yesterday's video. Both of those are very true, um, though ears aren't as bad as eyes, actually, um, and just in reality. Uh, feet, feet are pretty bad. I, I make sure anytime I do any full body images, I cut them out entirely. I either like have a tail that's hiding them or I just leave them out of the frame entirely. I do the same thing with hands, but I have attempted more hands than I have feet because well, I'm bad at feet. So the uh, the guy that I'm following has both a front view and kind of a three quarter view. So I'm gonna try and draw both. So I have the thing up here that I'm reading. Um, it says to think in 3D. Uh, so let's see, this one isn't like a step-by-step -step sort of thing that I was do like like what I was doing yesterday with the facial expressions. Um, so it recommends that I imagine a square for drawing toes, so I can do that. Let's find my square tool, which is up here. I'm not really sure what, that's white. That's not what I wanted. I wanted black. Actually, no, I don't. I'm doing it in red because yesterday I said, oh, I won't be finishing these artworks. Um, so I'll just draw them in black and then I went and finished them so I had to line them in red and then line them in black again so I'm going to avoid that this time um, where did my thing go there we go okay so it says to imagine a square I don't have to imagine I can just draw it because I have the handy dandy little square tool so let's put this back up the shaded part of the square will be your toe so it kind of has a bit of a thing like this I actually can't keep this up on my screen while I'm drawing so I have to study it for a second and then try and sketch it so it kind of has a thing sloping up like this then it's like really sharp angle and then comes down like this and comes down like like this so that should be apparently what my toe shape should be like. <coughs> then there's another little bit down here for like, I'm assuming that's the, gonna be the paw pad. And then it's got like a little claw. I don't really know how to, it, it doesn't give me a claw tutorial here. So let's just draw something that looks vaguely like a claw. Yeah, sure, like that, that's a toe. It's got the little paw pad in there. So that looks pretty close to what I've got. So that's a toe. Let me draw another square and do a front view as it also gives me, as the tutorial also gives me a front view thing. Uh, okay. Okay, I see what it's going for. So the front view of it, oopsie, I'm still on the square tool. Okay. I've also turned off the setting that in which rotating the image like this switches my scene in OBS. It doesn't anymore, which is ideal because that was that was a pain. 
I tried to edit as much of that out as I could, but it didn't work out, but that's okay. So this sort of looks like this. This is what the bottom of the toe looks like. And then yet again, it's got this little bit for a paw pad. It's not gonna be that. What am I doing? That's not okay. That's sorta of what it looks like, I think. I know this. The, these are just basic shapes. I haven't even gotten into the difficult part yet. Oh, it smells really good in here now. Um. Okay. So. Oh, and I need to draw a claw too. So it's got like a little bit of a like this sort of shape, like a teardrop kind of. I don't know why I'm coloring it in. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm already this far down the rabbit hole. I may as well continue. Okay, so that's a claw. That's what a toe looks like. So ideally, if I were to put four of those next to each other, it should look like the bottom of the paw, or at least a foot paw. Let's get into drawing the actual foot. So let's look at a top view first. So... It shows long toes, kind of that rounded trapezoid shape that each of the paws have. So let's try that. So if I have just like a straight sort of, now this is going to be the top down view. Oh, I can probably make my eraser smaller now. So let me, and it's not organic to have a straight line like this, but there, there's a heel, the back of the foot, and then do a couple of those little rounded trapezoid shapes, right? Yeah, that looks all right. And then apparently it's important it should be important to note that there are different sizes which I'm probably not getting quite right another one kind of like this another, yeah, there's another one I think that might be angled too far. It is a little bit, so let me fix that. This is looking like a crazy foot right now. But I, I know why, I think. These lines should not be straight. So let me take these, delete their bottom lines so that they're not as, you know, creepy. Okay, so I'm still struggling to see what the problem is here. Are they too round? I think they're too round. Okay. So let me cut.
cut off the tips of these toes. Okay, let me see. It doesn't help that feet kind of look weird by themselves. You know, like if you look at a regular human foot for long enough, you'll eventually start to get creeped out by it. Or maybe you're creeped out, at, like, immediately. Some people are. Other people are. Not so much. Um. What? Okay, whatever. Um. Yeah, so let's... Let's try again. Okay, that's better, I think. So let me just... So it's got these little things going on to kind of show where the toes, you know, kind of separate. This is probably going to be like the longest one. They're a little bit too square, I think. It also doesn't help that I don't have... See, the lines aren't... They're not long enough, are they not? They're not close enough together. So let me... Except not like that. So let me try that again. Okay. Yeah, that's a paw. I'm understanding. I see it. I can physically see the paw. I think it probably needs to, you know, fan out a little more. But I'll keep that in mind for next time. So now that I've got that, uh, actually, let me... It might also help to, to know, like, if this actually was a top-down view where exactly the heel would go so let me draw that in and oddly enough i'm kind of impressed it looks like a foot yeah like this actually is this actually looks like a foot which is kind of insane because I've never drawn like every time I tried to draw a foot it never actually ended up looking like a foot and so the fact that this is actually looking like a foot like I can like I'm I glance at it and it's instantly recognizable that that is the paw of an animal <gasps> and I think that's pretty that's pretty cool so here here's what I'll do and that's an ellipse that's wanted to do this so let's take this and move it off into the corner so that I have room to work and so that's a top-down view I have the toes that I already did so let me try drawing a leg Yeah, I mean, the toes are huge. So let me... 
like the the pinky toes since they are kind of in the background they'd be just based on the anatomy of a dog's foot or any animal's foot rather there should be some like curvature there like these should be in the background these it shouldn't be like a let me just draw an example real quick of what i'm trying to talk about it shouldn't just be like a straight line here and a straight line here and have all the toes fit into that the the line should actually be curved so that's what i'm going to try and do So, yeah, that's another image to go back in line later. Let's move him right over here next to that, and then there. And move on. So now we have the three-quarter view because, well, when you're drawing something that's standing, at least... Yeah, when you're drawing something that's standing, something that you'll notice is that it's very rare that both feet will actually be facing forwards. Um, so one foot, you'll probably draw facing forwards like this, and then the other one will be at kind of a three-quarter view, um, just because that's how people stand comfortably normally. You know, people don't stand with both feet facing forwards. <laughs> so let's try and mimic that. So... All I think, all I should really have to do is take these arcing angles and, you know, physically turn them. I mean, obviously I can't just do that because I'm working in a two-dimensional medium trying to get a three-dimensional function. So, I'm going to study this intently for a second because as soon as I click it's going to go away. So... probably start doing in these videos is demonstrating what my knowledge is on drawing um, a certain topic before I attempt to actually draw it like in this video I would have shown what it looks like when I tried to draw a paw before actually you know drawing the paw yeah okay so these look like a pair of paws. They don't look like paws that are coming from the same animal, but that's okay, they both look like paws. So I suppose that's like the best that I can do. I just keep going back and tweaking. I gotta stop so I can move on. Okay, so there are feet paws. I have drawn feet successfully. I'd say rather successfully. Like, that's, that's, that's a pretty successful foot, I'd say. Let's do a side view. So just for fun.
I have four, you know, um, relatively dog-like paws and a leg of four different angles. I have the top view, which would be like kind of a first person view is how this uh, image describes it. And um, yeah, I think they look pretty good. I am rather pleased with it. How am I doing on time? About an hour, okay. Oops. So I'm rather pleased with that. So I think I have time for one more sort of thing. So let's go into hands, hand paws. Okay, so let's try and draw a hand, um, a hand paw. I'm not gonna try and draw a hand because hands are even harder than hand paws probably. So that's what I've got. I have sketched out these little hand paws. Well, I, most of them are feet. Like only a couple of them are hands, really. Um, and so, yeah, um, I guess the only thing left to do now is line them. This is what I've got, and that's that's really just gonna be it for today. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like my feet and the hand, even though it's a little special. But it's okay; it doesn't matter. Um, I did the best that I could with you know the knowledge and the tools that I had, and um, hand just, just still needs a little work, but that's okay. I'll stop dwelling on that. The, the feet, I think, came out really good. I've said that already, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave the video here. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye!